Hello, in this video we are going to cover model loading. Model loading aka an object file, it could be a wavefront object, it could be a JSON object, it doesn't really matter. We are going to be loading in a JSON file, but the process is very similar for other files, other models, and as usual, if you are looking for a different method of doing something, go to the freejs.org website, go to documentation plus examples, examples is great as well, just filter what you're looking for so it is a loader because that is what is used to load something in to FreeJS and we are going to be using the object loader but imagine if you wanted to load a Collada file, you scroll down it gives you some example code of how to use it which is fantastic then it also shows you the methods that you can use with the Collada loader and what they do and the parameters that they take and the properties of the Collada loader. So let's get to it. First of all, we need to include the object loader file. That is with the FreeJS master file, which you will have downloaded in the first video. If you haven't got it anymore, just re-download it. One thing to note is make sure when you re-download a master file or if you get let's say a file from the source folder or from the examples to use in your project make sure you always get it from the FreeJS version that you downloaded I let, let's say if you downloaded version 60 don't get it from let's say if version 63 is the latest of in terms of the time you want to actually get a new file don't use it from 63 because there can be and a lot of time all compatibility issues get it from the exact version that you downloaded you can get those back versions as well so that's not a problem you want to go to source loaders copy the object loader.js file so what I'm gonna do is just show in finder go to JS paste that there object loader I've already added some models I just got these off a model website you can create it yourself export it convert it whatever you want so like I said this is a JSON file first of all we need to include the script file that we just added so that's JS for slash object loader save that scroll down so what we're gonna do is do var loader equals new free dot object loader this takes no parameters and now we have to do loader dot load and we are now loading our particular model so for this just need to put some brackets semicolon and then in here we need to specify the model we want to load as a string so this is models forward slash we're going to do head dot json first comma function and in here you're going to put object and then finally we're going to do scene dot add object so we're specifying what model we want to load this method gets called once the model has loaded and then in here we can do whatever we want we may want to do extra tasks as well depending on our game before we add our object to the scene so let's save that go to our web page refresh you might think we can't see anything if you just wait a moment it loads it's as simple as that so there we go we have our crazy ass looking model so if we zoom in a bit we have a head this is of a particular individual I can't remember who looks like I got it off a model website which is really cool but there's a bunch of them if you just type in 3d model websites online you can get a bunch of websites that allow you to download objects for free usually you have to sign up but it's free most of the time so this is a bit dark if you want to make it a little lighter you just add lighting I've already got some lighting right here so let's uncomment that refresh as you can see we can see this dude's head a lot better now it's a lot lighter so it's that simple to load in models this particular model 
let me just open up the model folder is the head JSON which also uses these texture files you don't need to concern yourself with these but I want to show you the school.json which doesn't use any texture files it just uses color so if I go to my text data change this to school.json oh sorry it was a lowercase s save that refresh as you can see we have our school loaded this particular model was a lot bigger hence why we was inside the model so let's just go back and turn lighting off actually because it's this is a pretty bright object anyway refresh go out we have our crazy looking school right here which didn't use any textures whatsoever but it looks really really realistic and we can do to this whatever we want to we can move if we want to we can do essentially whatever we want so that's it for model loading if you have any questions feel free to post them on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions dot php or feel free to contact us in any other way there'll be a link in the description to the github page with the source code from this video and the source code from every other video and it will include the models if you want to use the models that we used in this video to try out model loading thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day